So it appears Zfix's art had a twin that was fixing R2 who apparently called themselves Rose Fix's art. Let's talk about it. Hey, how's it going and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about Rose Fix's art. Z fixes art carbon copy who apparently thinks fixing art is cute and did it for fun as if it were a normal hobby people do casually. Z fixes art who became the biggest troll in the art community for quote unquote criticizing artists by fixing their art and basically turning popular anime characters into black chubby characters covered in hair and claiming they were advocating for fat phobia with their art somehow managed to become a role model for some reason to people who later will go on to become trolls in the art community on Twitter and other social media platforms. Meet Rose Fixes Art, a literal clone of Z Fixes Art, who believes fixing art is a joke and decided it will be very funny to fix characters just to get a reaction from the art community on Twitter and also annoyed the fan bases of every character they fixed. In their bio, they stated their account is for parody and also hoped people who find their art will like it, which surprisingly enough, I actually do like it. You can tell their art looks good, they have a pretty decent art style and they understand how to use color. But with all their skills and understanding of art, it still baffles me why they decided to use it to become another soulless troll on Twitter. I will assume with great power comes great responsibility, which in this case means using your art for better reasons or at least making yourself purposeful by taking commissions to provide value to people who appreciate your work and receive payment as a compliment for your time spent. But I guess Uncle Ben was wrong after all. Sorry Uncle Ben. Right. Hi, my name is Rose. I like to fix racist and fatphobic art. I speak English and Spanish. I hope you guys like my work. You can always DM me for fixing requests or if you need someone to talk to. DM me for fixing requests? That has to be the most obnoxious thing I have read this week on Twitter. It's funny how people just automatically turned fixing art into a genuine art form just like how artists take commissions and now people are literally asking a random account that clearly calls themselves a parody account of an art fixer to fix any image they think is not okay or doesn't represent whatever marginalized group they believe is the new trend to support and ask for inclusivity for. Rose fixes art just like Z fixes his art specifically went after characters that were drawn to have white skin, saying the artist's style looks like something out of Cal Arts, insinuating the art is inferior without pointing out what exactly is wrong with the drawing aside from the style and also questioning the original artist's choice of skin tone, claiming the artist had never seen a black person before and they drew their character with baggy clothes because the character was supposedly ashamed of how they looked so they fixed them to be chubby so they could fit in the clothes. Like, why? Why would you go out of your way to literally redraw another person's character and not even in like a respectful way or as fan art or paying tribute to the artist but as an insult mocking the artist and the way they draw and superimposing your own opinion of the character without their consent pretending to critique the drawing and help the artist when it is clear to you and every other normal person who saw the drawing that this is clearly not okay and is basically cyberbullying another artist on social media. People in the comments tried to call Rose Fix's art out and told them what they were doing was wrong and that they were drawing a wrong representation of what they thought Africans and African Americans looked like, explaining that Africans looked a little less uh, inspiring, which is just not true. Yes, there are obviously children that look like this due to the condition the economy of their countries are after war and conflict destabilized them and for some others, they look like that because they do not happen to be born with a silver spoon and are living hand to mouth. But still in this same continent, there are people who boast of having more money than Bill Gates and Jeff Bezos who are hiding their wealth and living life quietly to avoid suspicious eyes prying into how they accumulated their wealth. But 
all these might just be nothing more than boasts. So anyway, using that image as a broad stereotypical generalization of what Africans look like is kind of disturbing to me since it's absolutely wrong. Rose Fix's art also went ahead to fix other characters as part of their joke on the art community, claiming the artists drawing fan arts of the characters were making them sexualized so they made them better by making them trans and giving them dark skin. But the main drawing they fixed that got a major reaction from the Twitter art community was when they decided to take Gwen from Total Drama Island who looks like this and fix them to look like this. Like, I, <laughs> I just can't. So let me get this straight. According to Rose Fix's art, changing the character's skin color and making them extremely overweight is their quote unquote fix that promotes inclusivity and diversity for people of color and also advocates for body positivity in the art community? Right. Wow, I guess then every other artist has been doing it wrong. And as you must have expected, a lot of people came after Rose Fix's art in the comments, calling them out for not advocating against fat phobia, but making a drawing that seems like a joke towards people suffering from obesity. This has to be a joke account, right? I pray to God it is. I doubt there are any sane people in this world who think this is fixing a character. I wait for a haha it was bait bro moment. What is up with y'all fixing people then adding hijabs? That's racist, as if you're saying people who aren't Muslims are not good. And how is making someone fat fixing? That's like saying skinny people also aren't good. So you made her Muslim, made her fat, and then you just said you fixed her? You broke the entire character of her. Please go and get some help. This is not art or even a piece of doodling. It's just pure holy shit. But the comment that stood out to me was the one from a person who said they actually suffered from obesity and the fixed version of Gwen made them feel uncomfortable after seeing it. I suffered from morbid obesity. It is not something healthy. It is not something a person should be proud of, even though at first I wanted to be proud of it, but I suffered so much. The fact that Rose Fix's art thought they were going to change the art community with their arts by fixing characters and thinking people would be cool with it is just surprising to me. At this point, it was clear no one was finding any of these jokes funny and everyone started calling the account another Z Fix's art all over again. It was clear they were literally trolling the art community on Twitter and everyone was getting mad and couldn't help but get annoyed from what Rose Fix's art was doing. Because no matter how hard they tried to ignore their art or hide the page, the drawings always managed to show up on most people's timelines and the fixes kept on getting worse one after the other, becoming more cringe as Rose Fix's art took their trolling to the next level. It's sad how someone who actually knows how to draw just chose to spend their time being a pain in the ass to artists on Twitter as a form of comedy with the only person laughing being them alone. That time could have been spent doing other productive things or even teaching other artists how to improve their work on Twitter and sharing their knowledge but you know, not everyone eventually gets to be a beacon of hope to others. Another account people have also speculated to be a copycat of Z Fix's art is a Facebook page that was named I Hate Fat Phobic and seemingly came out a while after Z Fix's art got banned from Twitter after their account was hacked. The page has almost 7,000 followers, which is really shocking and baffling to me. Like, are these people following them because they like people fixing art or? Are they following them because they don't like them? Like, I'm so confused. Why are 7,000 people following an account that fixes art? Like, if you all don't know who to follow, at least go follow my Twitter where I post my drawings at Mohammed again. Because, like, how? <laughs> So this account also fixes popular characters in their spare time, doing the same thing Z fixes art and Rose fixes art did, making the characters overweight and giving them dark skin. And in my older video, I assumed this was probably Z fixes art who just created a page on Facebook to continue trolling artists and fixing their art. But comparing their art, you can clearly see that the Facebook page has worse drawings compared to Z fixes art. The line weight isn't exactly the same, the colors are different and Z fixes art drawings, although it hurts me to say this, but 
Their drawings look better than the Facebook page. That doesn't mean they're good or make them a good person. They're still a troll and I'm sure everyone can unanimously agree on that. Which they do apparently. This person needs to take anatomy courses along with learning how to articulate better. This may be a troll on the internet, but hopping from different social media to repeat the same mistakes is sad. Many wish for their account to be hacked or worse. For me, they are downright being disrespectful to the artists, creators, and actual people they claim to represent or fix with their page. I swear to God, if you're still doing this like two or five years, you're just wasting your life. Just go do something else. Something that does not hurt or make someone's life miserable. I do not want to judge, but it's lame. This site or page is full of disrespect and racism. Never come here. This is way disrespectful to other original artists and fan artists. Every artist has their right, I know, but you must give respect to the original artists as well. This is nothing but cyberbullying so far. Also, this thing is just an SJW's page. You can look at it, but this is nothing but unholy. This group should be reported. And that I agree with. Almost all the reviews on the page were just other people dumping on them and calling them out for their bad art and horrible takes on already existing characters, with some other people just hating on them, calling them names and accusing them of spreading negativity, hate and promoting racism. And to be honest, if ever there was a sign to just stop and change as a person or an artist, this must have been it. It's embarrassing to say this, but ZFix's art had a huge impact on the art community, especially on Twitter. Most of it being negative, but for some reason, they somehow inspired other people to just take other people's work and force their own opinions on the person's drawings without fear of getting backlash or cancelled in the art community. People started fixing art because they saw what ZFix's art was doing and they believed ZFix's art was becoming popular for trolling and fixing art, so they too decided to do the same thing because they wanted to be popular as well, even if it were for the wrong reason, which surprisingly enough, it's not how it ends up being for them because people won't remember you for being impactful but they will remember your name for being a troll and a nuisance to other artists in the community. Now kids are even stealing other people's drawing and fixing them on TikTok, making videos doing this thinking it is cool and edgy. Not only is this wrong and inappropriate but it just doesn't make any sense stealing another person's work because you want to fix it and troll other kids on TikTok. I think the art community has a good number of trolls and people trying to be mean and nasty to other artists hiding behind things like race, the color of the skin in the drawings of their characters and using diversity as an excuse to harass artists on Twitter when they don't like their drawings or need to critique the artist for not correctly getting the skin tone of a character right. Now don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with correcting an artist if they don't know how to paint darker skin tones or they posted a drawing that could be termed as whitewashing but using critique as an excuse to be mean to them is not okay at all. You can have mutual discourse with an artist without being impolite and insulting and without stealing their work and claiming to fix it. Sometimes these artists might not truly know how to paint the skin tone which may or may not be the case. Other times the artist might have just been drawing a different version of the character and really didn't need their art fixed without their consent. There's a fine line between being a critique and being rude and your ability to know when you're crossing that line is what defines your character as a person. Well, fortunately for us, both the Rose Fixes Art and the Wannabe Z Fixes Art on Facebook have been inactive on both of their accounts for a while. So, so it's safe to assume they're probably not going to come back and cause a scene in the art community again. Although none of them got their account suspended on Twitter, they most likely should have moved on to doing other things in their lives and may have forgotten they once relied on trolling the art community to make up for their inability to build a fan base without purposefully race baiting people and pretending to care about whatever marginalized group is trending at the moment and looks cool to advocate representation for. But if somehow they still come back on their accounts from time to time to think about trolling again, then I really don't have anything to say to them. And as for the people following these art fixers and encouraging them to continue doing what they're doing, I'm sure you have heard it a thousand times over that what they're doing is wrong. I'm sure you know deep down that getting people worked up is not okay 
And I hope one day you will mature to understand how toxic behaving like this on the internet is and you'll look back and see how cringe these people were. Anyways, that's all I have for you today. Please leave a like on the video, share it with a friend and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And if you'd love to see more of my drawings and further drawing tutorials I hope to post in the future, please subscribe to my second channel, link in the description. I'll see all you pretty penguins in the next video. Bye!